Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back. Today's video is going to be a get ready with me. It's going to be my first one. So yeah, you want to hang out? If you do, please keep watching. Okay, so I've already cleansed my face. Now I'm going to go in with two of my primers. One is for my T-zone and the other one is for my dry areas. Uh, so the first one that I'm going to go in with is the Rimmel Stay Matte Primer and it is an amazing primer. It keeps my nose from getting oily and my uh, forehead which tends to like blind everybody uh, just because I have so much oil. Anyway, I'm just going to apply a little bit and just apply. I like to go a little bit on the outer part of my nose because that also tends to get um, some oil there. Then I am going to go in with my Too Faced Hangover Primer and I'm going to put that on the areas where I am dry, which is my cheek area, my chin, my jaw, and yeah. So I put like, I do like two pumps just because I want it to really, really go in and just do its job. Now I have a lot of guests coming for the weekend and so I just really want to look very very good and put together so hopefully that'll do the job okay so I did pick up uh, a Farsali uh, unicorn essence and I just got the uh, mini bottle because I wanted to see if it worked well with my skin I didn't want to like break out or like have this allergic reaction so I'm just gonna put a few drops as an extra added primer. I think a little bit goes a long way and I think that one drop could have really covered both sides of uh, my cheeks. So it feels so nice and it smells so yummy. I love how it smells. Okay. So here is my primed face. I have been really loving the Maybelline Superstay and even though it looked very, very dark when I first applied it, it's weird because it does tend to like oxidize but not darker, it gets a little, it, it like evens out um, and it just starts looking like my skin. So I have been loving this it, at first with my first impression and I thought it was like, ooh. Um, but before I put this on, um, since I'm having a lot of guests and I really want to look really, really glam, I am going to go in with my Temptu uh, Boxy Charm. This came in my Boxy Charm months and months ago, and it's a liquid glow. So I'm just going to apply some all over my face and just kind of blend that in with the foundation. I just want to have that extra glow. Of course, I squeeze out on my hand. Oops. I think I squeeze that way too much. Then I'm going to apply some foundation on the back of my hand. And just apply some everywhere. Now my hair is getting in the way. Then I'm going to take my Real Techniques and I'm going to just pounce that all over. I have that double chin that just doesn't quit. I'm telling you, I love this foundation. Look at this. Do you not see it? Look, I really, really like it. The coverage is just amazing. Now that I put my face on, I am going to put a setting spray, which I just got in the mail. I'm very excited. Um, I do have the Gerard, Gerard Cosmetics setting spray, the Slay All Day um, in coconut, and I really wanted to try the which scent is, is the cucumber and I also got the Nikia Joy um, rose setting spray all day and I I'm just you know I, I just like the way it smells so I'm just gonna spray this right after I put the foundation on 
just to set it, I'm going to kind of do it in a couple layers because like I said, I'm having a lot of guests and I just want to look so ready and so put together. Oh, and it smells so good. And then just air it out. Okay, then I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in the color Dark Brown and my trusted The Brow Gal Eyebrow Brush and I'm going to fill in my brows. So if I don't talk, it's because I need to concentrate as I'm doing it, but I'll try my best to make conversation. Okay, so I am going to brush out my brows and so my some of my kids are on a vacation now. So they're on winter break vacation and trying to figure out like what do you do with them, you know? What do you do with them? Uh, they're older, you know, my kids are uh, older. My youngest is like 11. So you just want to keep them busy. But, you know, it's kind of hard to keep kids that are busy that are, you know, older because they don't want to do things with you anymore. They just want to go out and do their thing. So, but she's more of a homebody, so she doesn't mind being home. I have this hair and I need a tweezer because it's really bugging me. I'm just gonna pluck it because I feel like it's just annoying me. There. Now it's not annoying me. Looks pretty good. Okay, so now that I've done that, I'm gonna carve out. I love to carve it out. This is like my favorite part of doing my eyebrows is that I carve it out with concealer so that is what I'm going to do and if you have seen my eyebrow uh, routine then you'll see that I do love to carve out my eyebrows it's just my thing it's not something you have to do but if you want you know that sharp look you can work on it and see you know how that works out if you are one of those type of people uh, I'd love to know and what do you use and how do you do it and what brushes and so I'm just going to carve this out. So you can see and then it also brightens up your your brow you know you, you really want to go in there and just brighten it up so that you can apply your eyeshadows and just look very clean. It looks like I need to go and get my eyebrows um, done because I, I could see some of the hair that are just starting to spread out and you know it does take a while for my hair to to grow back especially my eyebrows. So I think it's time. Okay, so I'm gonna set the um, eye area, the concealer with the Kat Von D and her tiny little sponge. I, at first I didn't like this little sponge, but then I thought, you know what? I think it really does a nice, nice job. It just, obviously I wish it was a little bit bigger, but you know what, this works perfectly for the eye area. I'm just going to apply a little bit and just pat it on there. And it's like baking, you know, it's like baking your under eye, but you're baking your, 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 your lid. There you go. And if you feel like you have too much, just grab a small little brush. Like I am using the Morphe G39 and it came in my Live Glam. So just kind of dust that off and it works perfect just like that. Okay, so now I am going to go in with my NYX and the Jumbo Eye Pencil in the color Dark Brown and I want to put that all over my lid because I want to have this smoky eye going on and I think, I think, I think, I think, I want to go in with a, uh, I want to do a wing liner but I want to apply some teal onto my wing liner. So let's see how that works out. I'm very excited. I really want a little drama tonight, and so I am going to have it. OK, 
Okay, and I'm going to smoke it out. Let's see what I have here. Okay, I'm gonna use my Morphe RG18. It was also for my Live Glam from last month. So I'm just gonna use this brush to blend out that crayon and just kind of bring it up a little bit towards my crease. Okay, then going in with my Double Intendre, I am going to pick up this light color called, it's called Sen Noodles. And I'm gonna apply that on top my crease area and kind of blend the dark color, the dark brown in with that. If you need to blend some more, you can definitely work on it some more. I am gonna work on it a little bit more, but I don't wanna keep you just staring at me the whole time trying to blend. So I'll be right back. Okay, so now I am going to, I know it looks like I have a big, like two big black eyes, but at the end of this video, you're gonna be like, okay, now I get it. So I'm gonna apply my Essence Dip Eyeliner, and this is waterproof. So I want my you know, eyeliner to last, so I'll be using this. I want to apply a nice, thick liner, um, just because I want the teal to really stand out, the teal glitter. Okay, so that, that just really darkened it even more. So I'm gonna put on my other eyeliner and I'll be right back. I am gonna go in with my Morphe M170-2 and I'm going with the glitter glue and I'm gonna apply that on only the black liner because that's where I'm gonna put the teal shimmer um, glitter and yeah. So let's get this going because I tend to think that the glitter line, the glitter glue does dry up, so if you don't move quickly, you uh, will lose that adhesive. Okay, and then I'm gonna be using this uh, fine brush. Uh, now this is like one of those no-name brushes that I got on Amazon, so I'm gonna apply that glitter using the brush. Okay, so see how that is going on very nicely. You just wanna to continue to just pat the shimmer onto the glue, the glitter glue area. Okay, so there is your wing. And I really like this wing. I like the teal against the brown, and I think it's really, really cool. So I'm gonna finish the other eye, and I will be back, and we'll continue with our Get Ready With Me. Okay, so now that I have finished the eyeliner, which took me a good minute, um, but I don't do this very often, so yeah, I am going to go now in with me my Tarte Shape Tape uh, Concealer in the color Light Sand. Just put a few dots. And I love using my little squishy here. It's like the most amazing little squishy that I have ever, ever used. And I love my squishy. What is your favorite concealer? I know that I did a couple, well, I did a drugstore um, battle of the concealers and uh, I haven't done any of the high-end battle of the concealers and I, I was wondering if you guys would like to see that. I have a few high-end, and um, some of them I don't like, and some of them I do. So if you're interested, please let me know down in the comments below, and I would be more than happy to show you what I have and how they battle it out. So any of the excess uh, concealer, I like to just apply some here 
on the bridge of my nose. And I like to go down here to kind of brighten up under or on above my lip and just kind of brighten the areas that I need brightening because, you know, I need it. Taking that down to my chin, I kind of just using whatever product I have left over along here and kind of chisel out before I apply my it tickles. Uh, before I apply my contour. <laughs> I couldn't even think of that. Okay, so I think we're good. I am going to go in with a little bit of powder under my eyes, which I will be using again my Kat Von D uh, Locket Powder, Translucent Powder, and I, I am just going to use this little guy again and just pass that underneath. I'm just going to let it sit there and it's not a whole lot but I am going to brush it out and I'm going to apply my contour now. My favorite thing right now is the Coastal Scents Sun Tones Bronzer and it is a really dark, I think this is the medium bronzer and it's pretty dark but I really like it because I can contour my face with it very nicely and it's a powder so I'm not, I was doing creams now I'm doing powder so I'll be taking my Firma 103 brush. I don't even know where I got this. I can't remember. Anyhow, so I'm just gonna apply some of that and contour as much as I can here. And I wanna do the bottom. You know, to kinda Give that illusion that I have a nice, nice chin without any double chins there. But whatever. I'm going to take my Morphe G39 brush. I'm just going to brush out all of that powder that I have underneath. Just kind of blend that in. Okay, see how I, this is a nice clean canvas? Now I can go in and I can put on a, a liner or just kind of give a um, smoky um, look on underneath my eyes there so then it just looks really nice and clean and crisp. So now I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna use this brush again, which is the Morphe RG18, and I'm gonna go in the palette double and tendre and i'm going to use these send noodles right here and apply that on the bottom of the lash line okay so i think i am going to go in uh with a brown in my waterline i probably i think I, well i'm going to go in with the nyx and just I'm gonna go back in and just smoke it out. Okay, so I am gonna go in with the uh, black eyeshadow and I'm gonna darken it. That's one thing I forgot to do. I'm gonna darken it with a black liner and I'm just dabbing uh, and I'm just gonna kind of carve that out. So now, um, I want to go in and bronze myself, you know, just bronze. So uh, I'm going to go in with the Bronzer Essentials by Butte Basics has been my favorite bronzer. It has some shimmer to it and it has this beautiful bronzy color, it has two colors of bronze in there and it just, when you mix it, it's just a really good combination. And just going to apply that here just kind of bronze myself up okay 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 let's move on I'm gonna put some mascara on the bottom lash and put my lashes on and then we'll do the lip color oh I forgot to contour just like that what do you think okay perfect so let's move on I'm gonna 
put my mascara on and I'm gonna put my falsies and lip color. I know, I keep repeating myself. Lip color. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the highlighter and I'm trying to figure out if I should use the uh, Becca Champagne Pop. Um, I got this, I think, in uh, my Allure um, subscription box and it's not sure. So I think I'll put this on and if it looks bomb, then I won't add anything else. But if it doesn't look so great, or it doesn't pop like I wanted to, then I'll add some maybe Ofra. Okay, so I'm just gonna use a uh, brush from the Wet n Wild. Uh, I, I know that you see that. I know that you see it, and I think I don't need anything else because this is popping. Do you see this? It is popping. Look at that. And now I'm gonna do the Cupid's bow here. It's so funny, someone told me that it looked like I had drunk the milk and it had just gotten on my upper lip and they're like, is that a thing? I'm like, yes. And just a little on my chin here. Just give it that, look at that glow. Do you see that glow? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Let me see if you could see it better with a uh, less lighting. Do you see that? I know you see it. I know you see it. Excuse the noise. Neighbors over there um, doing some construction. So just gonna keep adding here. Look at that. I am in love. I'm in love. I'm so in love. Oh my goodness, guys. Even though this is like a sample, um, as soon as I run out, I am going to replenish it. Let me tell you. Okay, lip color. The last thing is lip color. So I just got, actually before lip color, I wanna spray another spray of my um, Gerard Cosmetics Slay All Day in the Scent Cucumber. I'm just gonna spray it until I feel like it just locked it in, locks it in. Of course, I get it all over my blouse. Oh, it smells so good. I'm just gonna air this out. Just look at this glow. Do you see me glowing, honey? Yes, you must glow as well. We must glow together. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, look at this. All right, so I think I'm glowing a little too much. I think I just had a little bit too much fun with this. Fine, so now we're gonna find a lip color. I just picked up a couple lip colors. I picked up the another Rimmel Stay Matte Lip Color, which I'm gonna do some swatches in another video. So this is in the color Be My Baby. I don't know, maybe it'll work, we'll see. And then I picked up the color Plum The Show. It's, I don't know that the plum will go with this eye look, I'm not sure. So let's go in with, let's see how this color looks. Okay, actually I should put a lip liner, right? I should put a lip liner, yes. Fine. Can't find the sharpener. Okay, so I put the lip liner. Now let's put on the Stay Matte, the Rimmel Stay Matte. Doesn't feel dry. And it's a very beautiful color. Okay, I'm digging this look. I'm digging this look. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the very first Get Ready With Me together. And this is gonna be one of many, many Get Ready With Me videos. And hopefully you enjoyed the look and how I applied my makeup. It's something that I normally do uh, on a daily basis because I like to 
just feel really, really glam and very nice, even if I'm going to work. And even if I'm just gonna have a day at home, I wanna feel good. Anyhow, so I hope that you like this video and I hope that you will uh, give it a thumbs up and I hope that you subscribe and if you haven't subscribed already please slap that subscribe button and We will see you on the next video. I love you guys and I hope that you have a good weekend because I am filming this on a Friday So we'll see you on the next one Ciao Bye.